What is up, everybody? Oh my god, it's been way too long. I hope you guys are doing well, man. Staying positive. I'm sorry for the delay in the videos, guys. I've just been super busy at work. <laughs> like, I'm getting home, I'm showering, I'm going to bed, you know? Uh, tonight, I'm making a video. It's late, but I'm doing it anyway. Because we need a hand. Dude, right? I got a real fun one too, man. I thought this would be a lot of fun to do. I was gonna wait to do this, but we're gonna do it, man. It's the uh, dual coil Pyrex RSST RTA or Jenny, whatever, you know. RTA? Jenny? It's cool. You know, I've been out of the game for so long. Ah, I have so many videos to catch up on. So much stuff to show you guys. Oh my god. Ugh. Let me tell you, I purchased this atomizer, this Jenny, from TriangleVapes.com, and I'll, like, I'll put the link down below, man. Um, let's go ahead and get that right out of the way, just so you guys know where to go to get this thing. Um, God, I've just got so much stuff to show you guys. And I know I'm all over the place, guys, because it's like been so long since I've done a video. We're going to be using some of this today. So we'll kind of chat about that. Cotton bacon. Uh, we'll kind of chat about that. Um, we'll talk some juice. What I'm vaping in this, this is the Doge uh, Project Sub Ohm Edition sitting on top of my version 2 of uh, uh, from... Uh, Misfit Vapors. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm vaping Bay Harbor Butcher from KillerLiquid.com. Amazing juice. Wow. It's uh, part of their uh, organic line. Fantastic. It's my new favorite from them. Bay Harbor Butcher, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. Anyway, nonetheless, man, I'm vaped up. I'm vaped up, feeling good. Let's do this. Let's take it down low, and and I'll show you what this thing's all about. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Here we go. Uh, oh, did I mention we're building this, man? Oh boy, I hope you guys know that. We're definitely building this. Here it is, man. Okay. Um, let me pull it off camera here. I'm just gonna take this down. Um, what's pretty cool about this is, uh, oh no, of course the dog's gonna want to go out, guys. One sec, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Nonetheless, man. Um, this is a genuine smoke tech product, guys. Okay. Uh, this one came from China. Um, you know, it's designed for dual coils. This is pretty cool, guys. We're gonna be doing auto dripper mode. Let's get the obvious out of the way. It does not come with this drip tip. It comes with your classic. And I got it. I got it. it. Comes with the Ming. Okay. You guys know this, right? The mean tip. Okay. Um, we're gonna break this thing completely down. Um, Genesis style device. Okay. Pyrex tank. You can use any juice you want in this. Okay. No problems at all. Um, let's take off the top cap and just get. Out. Actually, let's start with the top cap. Let me pull it off. All right. So what you're seeing here is you got their logo here. Okay. There's the top. Now. Here's the airflow adjustment, guys. Check this out. Okay. Now, the turning of this is stiff but smooth. It's not going to move. Like, if you wanted it here, you could leave it there and it ain't going to go nowhere, man. Uh, let's go ahead and keep it going. Uh, the air holes on this, which I thought was fantastic, uh, two by five millimeters. 
right? Isn't that beautiful, man? I mean, this thing's begging for auto draper mode. Also, a couple unique features with this. Uh, also, you gotta watch out for it as well. Let me get you a little closer. Now, if you look on the inside here, you see that first little ledge right here? See that? Now, when that goes onto the top of your top cap, the bottom of this section right here does not meet to that, right? So that's left with a little gap in there. And what that's gonna do is as juice builds up on your deck because the deck has no lip on it whatsoever, right? It'll stay trapped between the gap between that and the uh, deck portion of the atomizer, right? So you're not gonna have to worry about juice leaking out of this. I thought that was fantastic to see, man. Okay, but also some things to keep in mind. You've got to keep your coils back a little bit. Okay, um, I mean if you do it straight up and down, straight up with the holes on your atomizer, you're not gonna have a problem, guys. It's not gonna hit it. But when you're gonna do it like we're gonna do it today, just keep in mind you got to keep them coils back a little bit, just so it doesn't touch this. Because if your coils do touch the side of this, you're gonna get short, man. Okay, we just we just never want that. Okay. So there's a look there. This looks like it comes off. Um, I haven't really played with it trying to get it off, and so I just leave it, man. Okay, so as you can see, very nice machining here. I think this is, oh man, I think it was like 34 bucks or something, or 26, I can't remember. I'll, I'll write it down on the screen, guys. Okay, so there's one last look at it. No crispity crunchity in there, everything's smooth. Okay. Then we get to this portion. Now you're gonna notice something on the top here. This is a silver plated screw, guys, okay? Um, this came from Ninja Mods, ninjamods.com, guys, okay? That's where you can purchase this at. Um, screw simply comes out, okay? Um, it comes with a washer and your spring, and we'll talk about how we trap the wire in there when we put it back together. But this does not come with it, guys, okay? It's just as this is the one that comes with it right here. Pull it out of my box. Okay, this is the one that comes with it right here, guys. Okay, Phillips head. Just like that, okay? So we'll go ahead and just set this off to the side. One more look at it. Okay, I'll set off the side. And now you're going to be greeted with two insulated three millimeter. I think they're just a little over three mils on the wick holes. And the fill hole, I believe, is three mils, actually. It looks like three mils. Maybe, yeah, it's, it's damn close. Two Phillips head screws. Again, no lip on the deck here, guys. So the design, they, the design that they did with this top cap is fantastic. I wonder if I can show it. Oh, yep, yeah, see that? There you go, man. But you can also see how far that that um, this section right here, where it goes in, really kind of protrudes in there, right? Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Nonetheless, hopefully you guys got a good look at that. I right, insulated wig holes. Okay, we went over that. Let's go ahead and unscrew this. Okay, just unscrews right here. Okay. Here's the bottom section. Now, now you can really see where they put that Delrin in there. Okay. Really nice work, guys. I mean, all around. Pyrex tank. Okay. I believe you can buy these guys just separate. So if anything were to happen to it. But it's nice and thick. But check it out. It's nice and rounded as well. Like, they really treated this nicely. Okay. Nice and smooth. There's no rough edges on this. It comes with a bag of tricks as well, guys, and you get extra pretty much everything that you see here, okay? Except for a post. It does not come with an extra post. Okay? Cool. So we'll set that off to the side, and then you have this section. You're looking at this going, what is this? This entire base and post is insulated as well. What does that do, man? Well, let's say you're a dude that likes to, uh, you know, get busy with the, uh, you know, stainless steel rope, man. Um... If you were to put in your stainless steel rope and it were to touch the side of this, or touch the bottom of this, not only would you get hot spots, but it could short out as well. Um, with this, you don't even have to worry about it, dude. Not even a little bit. Does not matter. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, take off this center post here. 
Okay. Show you every piece of this. I always try to do that in my in uh, my videos, guys. Because I know you guys want to see it. I know I do. Uh, on the bottom, here we go. Dual coil RSST, designed by Smoke. Okay. There's your little insulator there. Again, um, a little insulator in there. I would like to see that a little better, though. I'd like to see it come all the way out to here, you know. Um, you guys know how I feel about that. I'm going to push up this little... Now, moving this... Um, this piece here up and down is not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, you can really adjust it however you want. Let me go ahead and thread this in. Everything that I've noticed um, threads together really nicely. Okay, just like that. Hopefully that was in the shot, guys. Just simply screwed it in. And you can see, like, it all meets up on the bottom really well. Really insulated there. Next up. I got my gasket poking up, going upwards, okay? And they've got these four little, not like, almost, uh, nubs here. Just go to the outside of that, guys. Okay? Nice fit. Nice and round. Next up, top section. Back you up a little bit. Next up is the top section. Okay, now this is where I like to take my time. Don't over tighten, just make sure it's snug just like that. And I kind of feel around right here on the bottom to make sure that nothing came uneven during, you know, fastening it down. And nothing, everything feels pretty smooth here, guys. Dual O-rings on here, really nice fit, by the way, guys. Wow, this thing fits beautifully on here. Okay. Um, again, this is what came with it. And this is what I'm using, okay? Just personal preference. I just go in with my hand here, and then at the bottom, you can just adjust the length. I can already feel it stiffening up right there. I'm gonna go about right there, okay? Let me give you a better look on the bottom here. There we go. Okay, so I got it poking out quite a bit, all right? Um, also, I switched out the washer for a little larger one, because the one that comes stock with this one is pretty much flush with this top head of this screw, okay? So I put one in there that's just a little bigger. Works better for bigger gauge wire, okay? Just a lot easier, okay? That's just my little tip and trick for you guys, man. Cool. All right. Oh, also it comes with a plug, guys, for this. Okay. Let's build it. Let's build this thing. Let's back it up. We're gonna be using 24 gauge canthal. Just regular old 24 gauge, guys. That's 28. Where is 24 at? Ah. Okay, got some 24 gauge wire here. Let's do this. I'm gonna plug a pretty decent piece. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna pull it to them because we're gonna do it in dual coil auto dripper mode, man. When I saw this, I just knew it was like it was just meant for it, man. I just I don't know. Pull my seat a little bit. So what I'm going to use here, um, I'm going to use the number zero, okay? The number zero micro screwdriver. Um, that's equal to a 3 30 seconds drill bit, right? I'm gonna do six wraps, guys, just like you would regularly do it micro coil style, all right? Let's do this. Six wraps. One, two. First one, put some pliers out, tug that down, just straighten everything out. I want everything nice and tight here. You know, when you're doing these coils, and when you first, um, and I want to keep some pretty decent leads on here, guys. But when you first do these micro coils, let me get it close here. Um, you know, just try and get as tight as you can at the first. It's really going to set you up for success later, okay? 
Just try and get them as tight as you can. I mean, that's not the tightest in the world, but, you know, I tried, man. Right? Just, just, just give us some love, man. Let's do it again. I'll do this one off camera. Okay. I'm gonna tug on the leads. And push it against the wall there. Okay. So now we have both of our coils. What am I gonna do now? Grab this one. I'll use, actually I'll use this one for now. Let me bring you back in, guys. Okay, so I'm simply gonna just loosen up the screws here. Grab Pinky. I love Pinky. Looks so pretty good, guys. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Okay, now I'm setting it in there. But I'm I'm not I don't have my bottom lead to the outside of the screw. I'm going to the back side of the screw. Okay, just like that. Now I'm just going to simply take it, wrap it around, and I'm going to fasten it down. Okay. Then I'm going to take it, do the wiggle move. Okay, and just break that off. Okay. So this is what we're kind of left with right now. It's just kind of sitting in there. We've already got this fastened down. Okay. Now, you, do you see which way? Let me pull this out. Okay. Do you see the lead here? This leg, right? I don't want it on this side of the uh, uh, positive post here. Okay. I do not want it on this side, I want it on the other side. So what I'm gonna do, simply reinsert. Okay, and I'm gonna go back over, like that, okay? Just like that, okay? Um, I literally, with that spacer, that's how you trap your wire, guys. That's it, that's what you do. And that's what I have as I pull this out. See what I mean? So I have the lead coming from behind the screw, and then I have the top lead not going on this side of the positive, but on the other side. So it's just going straight up and around. Okay, and I'm going to leave that just like that. And I'm going to repeat, guys. Okay. I'm just going to take it, make sure I'm on the inside here. Okay. Come around. down. Okay, I can break this off now. Okay, just like that. And again, see what's on that one side? Okay, so I'm going to try and keep it in the shot here. Because I can actually leave the screwdriver in on this one. Come around and just slide it under. Just like that. Good. That looks good. Straight up with it. Okay. Pull that out. And that's kind of what we're left with, guys. Okay. Very rough, rough what we're doing here. But you get the gist of it, right? Pretty evenly spaced off the center post, but they're back. Do you notice that? See how they're back? That's probably the best view right there. They're back away. Because remember, we got to keep in mind this lip right here, all right? So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take something like, like this, man, I got like this uh, real flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go underneath the coil. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Not too close. Ah, there we go. And I'm gonna lift up on it, and pretty fiercely, man. Get it up in the air, okay? On the other side. and up in the air. Okay, I mean they are. Let me put it, let me give you a front view of that. There we go. A lot of space in there. Okay. Okay, a lot of good space in there. Now it's adjustment time. So how have I been adjusting this? I'm leaving my leads in if you've noticed because I may have to mess with them again. So leave them, alright? So take whatever you used to wrap your coil on. 
and I'm going to take my coils and I'm going to bend them. I'm going to take this coil and I'm just going to give it a soft angle going this way toward. You know what? I think I'm going to do it a little different this time. I'm going to angle this coil slightly back, like that. I mean, just slightly, guys. Okay? Just slightly. Do you see that? It's still leading into the, into the wick hole, but it's bent. Do you see that? That's what I'm going to do on the other side. But I want them both bending in the same direction. Okay? I'm going to try it different this time. Same thing, guys. I'm going to take it. So I can get this just right. Yeah. And I'm going to lift up on this one just a little bit more. There we go. Pretty happy with that. Good. That's great. I'm happy with that. Okay, see how it's angled? I'm shooting for around point two five ish hopefully. Okay? That looks pretty good there. I'm happy with the spacing on it. I'm happy that they're both... I'm gonna clip this because we're done with that. Okay. Getting close, but not too close. Leave a little leg on there. There we go, okay? They're both leading into the wick hole themselves. See that? See how it's going pretty much right into it? And they're both angled. Now, in this case, I angled them away from the wick hole, okay? We're going to see how that's going to play out. Yeah, we're going to see how that's going to play out. Okay? Good. Good, 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 good. Very cool. Let's measure it now. Two-ish, point two-ish. Okay. Just above point two. I bet it's reading like point two three on my black one, should we see? For fun. Not point three seven. Oh, point two eight. Okay. Okay. So there we go, man. Pretty much what I was looking for, man. So really I feel like with this analyzer, back it. Well, actually, I'm gonna leave it here. Back it up, actually. All over the place, aren't I, guys? Let's dry fire it and set these coils before we wick it, man. I've got the, um, boy, big demand for this review. I have the, uh, copper clone of the Mutant 26650 here. Got that one coming up real soon, guys. Okay. Go ahead and thread that down. Not quite. Get a little more distance on that. I kind of figured it wouldn't fire right there. So in this case, I'm going to try and get a nice little good micro coil. So I'm going to fire it and pinch. Just pulse it. And I'm going to pinch. 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 Pinch and hold. I want a nice, nice good solid little tube there. Okay, pretty good. Let's go this side. going to continue to do this. I think those look pretty tight. Now, I'm going to strum them out. Okay. 
Hey, just drumming them out. I'm just... Just taking a pick and just running it right up the, the length of the coil. That's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. Good. That's good, guys. I'm really happy with that. Now it's time to wick it. Alright, so let me go ahead and pop it off of here and put it back on my tenderfoot stand here. My build stand, if you will. Love this thing. Okay. Put it down a little bit more. So now we're going to wick it. But how are we going to wick this thing, right? That's probably what you're wondering. Now, in auto dripper mode, there's lots of different ways to do this. And everybody's different, man. Find your own way and be stoked on it, okay? If it works for you, man, that's, that's the ultimate thing, okay? But I'm going to show you how I've been doing it. And guys, I'm getting really good results with this wicking style, all right? So I guess when it's cotton bacon, we'll talk about this in an upcoming vlog or something. Okay, I'm going to pull off a piece here, about like that. Pretty much what I would normally use for like, you know, a regular old coil, you know. Kind of get rid of the scuzzies on that. Let me get rid of a little more here. Back you up. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the maestro vapes method, which works really well. I'm just taking it, putting it on the table, and just softly rolling it. Okay. Just like that. That's kind of what I got going on right here. Got some scissors real quick. Oh, I hope I have the scissors. Oh my goodness gracious. So I'm going to want a nice little point on the end of this. That's great. I'm going to clip it. Okay. So I'm simply going to thread it through. Okay. Just like that to where it's kind of going into the wick hole. And in this case, I'm going to take my pick. And I'm going to be careful of the coil. And I'm going to try and just about that cotton. There we go. Just like that. And from there, I can kind of tug it. But instead of like grabbing it and tugging, see how it's kind of laying over? Instead of just tugging it right here, lift this up, man. Eat it a little bit. Just softly. Just tilt. That's good. That's good. Like I felt it fill the coil. That's plenty. Okay? So I'm going to cut it right at the deck. Right there. Just like that, guys. Okay. Clip this off. I'm going to leave quite a bit on the top here. Let me scoot this forward. Probably about an inch on there. Okay. I want to leave me plenty to play with. This should be enough on this one. Same thing, guys. Pop it in. Take your pick or whatever, whatever you can get underneath there. Okay. Careful of the coil. Where are you, baby? Am I good? I can't tell. Yep, I'm good. Okay. And again, it's pretty straight up in the air, so I can kind of just, just kind of help it along. That's good. That's plenty. Like, I've... Once you fill it, fill that coil, that's plenty. You don't want it too tight in there. Right even with the deck, again. Okay, as close as you can get it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but, okay. And again, I'm just gonna match up the size here. And that's what we have right now, okay? Okay, big old floppy tops here. And then we have the little bottoms. Okay, let's go ahead and arrange the bottom section of our cotton right now. Okay. 
too much. I don't want any in that hole. I only want, I want to block enough of that wick hole that there's a little air poking through, okay? So I'm just gonna pull this back towards the middle. Okay. Just like that, let me see. Just about. Okay, so I'm kind of, let me see if I can keep this, there we go. That's perfect right there. Do you guys see? Okay, directly underneath this coil. Oh, focus, baby. Right here. See that? See that little amount of space right here? That's what you want on each side, okay? So I simply took it from the front where I cut it, if you guys remember that, and I slid it back. But I have, that's a perfect, that's exactly what I want on the other one. Towards the back. Okay, just simply spin it. And then push it back towards the front there. Just until you, you leave just barely any. See that? You can see it from there actually, right? Yep, that's it, man. That's what I want on the bottom. That's perfect. Okay. Now, this wick, this hole right here, juice is going to come out of it, right? So I want cotton to be near it. Not in it, just near it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, okay? I'm going to fold it down and put it between the screw and the post. I'm going to put it right in that little channel right here. And I'm going to leave just enough cotton so that it's just sitting on the outside of that screw, okay? So the way I do that is I just push it down there, okay? Just like that. Just kind of get a general idea of where to cut is what I'm really doing here, guys. I'm going to need some glue. Take a little e-juice. Okay. Got some peach ango. I've really been loving the peach angle in here. And I'm just gonna, okay. So now that I've done that, right? I'm gonna pull it back up and I'm gonna clip it at that bend, okay? Okay, that's where I'm gonna clip it. Just like that, okay? And that, that way you just know you have enough. There's enough juice down there that'll hold it down. Oh, sorry guys. There we go. Yep, good. So any juice that comes out of this fill, this fill hole, it'll get caught there, and we're gonna, and that'll be good. You have two spots for juice to get caught on, this wick, and this wick. Okay. There's almost like a little wall of like juice catching goodness right there. Okay. And on this side. Same thing as we did on the other side, just right down back behind, between the screw. Again, just ballpark it. Just kind of get it down in there. I have an idea of where that is actually, right there. Clip it. A little juice. And I'm going to just push it down between the screw. Okay. I'm not trying to really take the fluff out of this cotton, but, and that's what it looks like, guys. That's kind of my auto dripper setup right there. That's exactly, this is exactly how I've been running it. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Like, I'm trying to make sense of this to you, and it's, I know it's difficult, but there's, there's, there's air coming through here. There's air coming through that wick hole. There's nothing inside the wick hole itself. Everything's tucked behind the screws, okay? But it's really important that you have cotton by this fill hole. Speaking of fill hole, let's fill it, man. This thing holds three mils of juice. Okay. Peach angle's pretty thick, man. Takes a second, for sure. I'm literally just gonna go ahead and fill it. What's great about auto dripper mode is like you don't have to empty the tank to rebuild it. You know what I mean? You literally just take off the coils or heads or 
and the 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 build you did really and just rebuild it just be careful not to spill the juice you know this is a great little build guys i really think you'll enjoy it um you know it's pretty decent vapor production coming off of it but great flavor fantastic flavor i gotta tell you i was kind of going you know more flavorish on this one yeah three mils of juice guys don't fill it all the way to the top. Leave just a little bit, because when you when you take a when you take pulls off of this, you're creating a vacuum. Okay, the air is going to kind of circulate and pull juice towards the wick itself. Let's tip this, and hopefully, you guys can kind of see. see. Yeah, there we go. Good get a little close up on that. Like I just barely tilt, I just barely tip this thing. See that? It's already juicy. Okay. Here's the other side. Juicy already. It's easy, man. That's it. Throw it back on the mod here. That's where I'm going to actually finish it off. Drip tip I'm using. This is the uh, Vape Tasia drip tip. Just looks really good on there and, and that nice big bore. Okay, we'll talk about trip tips later on. But literally, I can just sit here and tip this. You know? Let me back you up. I can just sit here and tip this thing, and there it goes. Just like that, man. Yeah, she's almost wicked up now. There we go. Beautiful. They're both wicking extremely evenly, too, by the way, guys. It's hard to see on camera, but they really are. See how they're almost, they're pretty well juiced up. And, okay. Good deal. Help the process along so we can leap it up. Cool, let's take it back up. Good, we're good. That's it, man. I ain't kind of fun. Been loving this way. Again, keep those coils back away, okay? Don't want to bump it into that. Match the air holes right up with it, and I'll show you the finished look here. But once you pretty much put this cap on, uh, we'll go a little lower. That's good. That's good. I'm happy with that. Once you put the cap on, you really don't have to touch it. Um, this thing stays, you run, I easily kill this tank, no problem. Boom. Um, it just works really well. Let's vape this thing. I hope I covered all the bases. I feel really out of my element this time. Is that weird? No. You can just sit here all night and hit it, and you won't get a dry hit, man. There's a point where you almost hear like a gurgling. That's the time to kind of, instead of vaping it like this, kind of keep it down a little bit. Let's vape the shit out of this thing. Great flavor. Fantastic flavor out of this. Super easy to build, guys. I mean, maybe you can imagine different build styles with this, Tiger Wire, you name it, I've done it in this, man. And they've all worked pretty dang well, except for uh, 20, 22 gauge wires. They're just, there's not enough air to support them, for one. Um, for two, it just didn't suit the atomizer. I really believe, you now between 0.2 and 0.5 ohms, it really shines, guys. It really does. There's no need to even mod this thing. This is great for, like, if you're looking for something, like you're just a hardcore dripper, right? And you're in the car or something. This is a great little setup, man. I love this thing. And you don't have to sit here and worry about dripping at all. It's, it's good. Seriously, it's like good to go.
show you the wicks right here. Okay, just completely soaked, man. It's a great way of whipping these things. And also, I found that with the cotton bacon, as it were, um, that doesn't really collapse as fast as regular cotton. So, but after a while, it will collapse. I like it like any cotton. Um, but you can kind of really maneuver the cotton around and make a little pocket behind that coil and you'll actually get a lot more vapor production if that's what you're into, you know what I mean? Um, I've been messing with this, man. I love it. I was really excited to bring it to you guys. I'm excited to get a video up. I'm so excited. I thought what better way to come back than a build video. Nonetheless, man, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for joining me, dude. Thank you so much. I got some good stuff coming up. We got the Doge. We've got, um, we've got a bunch of stuff from Icon Vape and a bunch of stuff. I got some stuff from the Vaping Walrus. Those are the two companies that I really want to push you guys towards. Okay, great customer service as well as great prices as well. Um, Icon Vape now. Dot com, new website up, and I'll write it down, man, if you guys want to go check them out in the meantime. I'm all over the place. Ah, thank you so much for dealing with it, man. Thank each and every one of you guys for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for your patience and just waiting, man. Hang in there, dude. I'm going to take good care of you guys. You guys know that, man. Let's end this. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to email me tjvapingreviews at aol.com, man. Um, yeah, man, if you have any questions, or just comment down below, man. I'm always happy to see you guys, dude. Let's end this, motherfucker, man. Let's end this. Class. <laughs>